Yeah, buddy. So this is part six of mine and Scotty's 2017 shed season. Uh, this video is my, I think, fourth set of clips for 2017. Starts out a little slow. A um, few deads. I give some pointers, which I don't normally do. <laughs> Uh, but me and Scotty are just bouncing around a few videos tonight in the garage over some beers, just having some fun. So I decided to do the intro. Um, this video does, like I said, starts out a little slow, but it ends strong with a six antler walk with some nice bone. Check it out. It's March 22nd. And I see something through there. Some bones. That's definitely an old deadhead. That is an old one. That's been laying there a long time. Long time. Would have been a nice little eight pointer. Son of a gun. So here's a little tip for all my fellow shed hunters out there. When I want to sit down and have a break, I bring this little piece of uh, stuff that wraps a hot water tank. It weighs nothing, and that way I don't have to sit on my pack, and I don't get a wet ass. And I can get it uh, whatever I need in my pack. Usually a few beers and some lunch. Right on. <laughs> so I've walked uh, six and a half hours today. No sheds, and that's my second deadhead. That sucker is snapped up. Makes you wonder. Maybe, maybe you can only speculate, but maybe that's why he died. I mean, he every point is snapped off of that from fighting, not from chews. So maybe he bit off more than you could chew. <laughs> And that's two dead heads today. Son of a gun. Yeah, buddy. It's March 23rd, and I'm back in that spot where I found those two fresh antlers when I was out walking with Scotty, trying to match them up. And that's an old one. But it's a nice deer. Beauty. Pretty chunky little eight pointer, man. Been laying a couple of years. Right on. So I started noticing some deer hair. And I was obviously started looking for a skull. And that poor bugger tried to jump that big fence and got hung up. Son of a gun. Poor bastard. Must have been a heck of a way to go. Damn. All right, still March 23rd. I'm just coming up the edge of this really nice meadow. Boom, baby. Looks like a fresh one. Oh yeah, sweet, oh, beautiful man, fresh one, oh yeah, that's a chunky, that's a chunky, tight eight pointer man, fat, oh yeah, he's got some nice mass starting in him. Real tight, real heavy for what it is. Oh, what a beauty. That's a beauty little buck right there. Oh, baby. Hey. So I just got started in this section, just two minutes, and I saw some deer hair 
So naturally, got looking around, and there's the head. Son of a gun. Little buck. Likely, well, potentially. Again, you can only speculate, but could have got hit by a car. We're right by the highway. Son of a gun. Yeah, baby. So I have not been in here long. And that's the first shed of the day. That's kind of crazy. It's an old one. Of course, it's been laying there a bit. Really fine, fine times. Crazy, and it and it's weird at the base. It's all pitted in. So I've never seen one like that. Super unique. And before I picked it up, I saw what probably is the match. Just down the deer trail, it looks like more fine tines. Oh yeah, that's got to be the match. For sure. Pit it out in the bottom. And it's not chewed off, it's just kind of weird. Super fine, fine tines. So that's a... Uh, that's a strange little buck. Pretty cool, man. Awesome start. Who knows? This could be full of them, baby. Whoo! Oh, man. That's a fast start. Look at that right there. That's a big four point side. Real nice one. Oh, I don't think it's fresh. But it's a sweet one. Oh, it's got a little drop tine on it. It's got some junk starting at the bottom. That's cool antler. It's definitely been laying a year. It's got pretty good mass and a nice tall brow tine. That antler right there from this year will be really cool because that's an awesome buck already. Oh man, that's a fan, that's a killer start. This one's a real goofy bugger. He's a real goofy bugger. And he's got those in, I've never seen those indented bases like that. I don't know what would cause that. It's almost like he's underdeveloped or something. But incredible start Whew. oh man so this is a place I scouted out this past winter and I found four antlers in an hour it's got awesome corn awesome cover awesome cedar Sun absolutely everything you need I've been saving it until the snow melted and that's my first fresh one of the day Right there. Nice little freshy, cute little yearling. So I'm on the money and my scouting paid off big time. So I'm on uh, what I call comb mode and I'm just gonna cover every square inch. Um, and if it takes me two days, three days, I don't care. I'm gonna get more bone in here. Yeah, buddy. So I just did the open hardwood swamp kind of a travel corridor. And I'm just getting to the cedars, which is obviously what's holding these deer here. And I see a dandy. Oh, man. That looks like a nice one. Oh, yeah, baby. hanging up in that little tree. Whew. 
check that one out. It's hanging up off the ground. It's just touching down there at the end of the main beam. Oh yeah. Whew. That is sweet. You can see the cedar still all mashed in them. Oh man. That's a beautiful five point side. A nice 10 pointer. Oh, fresh. Oh, baby. Look at that cedar in there. Oh, man, my fifth antler today. Oh, I am just pumped up. What a dandy. See if I can walk these cedars slow enough to pick up a few. I have a hard time in the cedars and this is just the edge trail. You can see it. <clears throat> so I'm just, I haven't even penetrated into the cedars yet. I'm just on the edge trail. So let's see if I can have some more luck. I walked the Ooh. cedars for two and a half hours with no success until I got back out into the meadows. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. An old one really curls in quick. Sweet. Would have had an awesome. They it got chewed off, but he's kind of like real bladed and would have been an awesome brow tine coming off of there. I think. Right on. All right. So I hope you guys liked the video. That was an awesome walk I had at the end. Uh, me and Scotty are. We are, he is closing the gap big time. It might not seem that way in the videos because I'm a little behind posting them, but he's got two videos damn near ready to go. One's coming up in the next three or four days. So stay, uh, stay plugged in for that. But we're within 30 points now. So he's only like the average four points an antler. He's only like seven antlers back, not even. So I got my work cut out for me. I've been out, I've walked about nine hours now with no antlers, all skunked, three walks in a row. So I got a beauty spot I want to get back to, so I'm jacked up on that. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more shed hunting.